principal. So Azure Service Principal basically sends security identity. So we used to uh, create this uh, identity for the accessing, uh, providing the access for the applications to manage the uh, Azure resources, and it can be used as services or for automation, uh, doing any automation for the Azure resources. We use the Service Principal. So basically, we uh, uh, this is kind of identity. So we can restrict the access for this identity using the uh, role-based access control. So so once you create the service principal, we can assign the roles whichever is required for us. So you can create a, a contributor and reader uh, role using the role-based access control. And this is strongly recommended that the Azure service principles are mainly used for uh, automation purpose. So if you are automating anything like creation of infrastructure using the uh, Terraform or creating a pack of images or creating uh, using uh, any SDKs to access uh, Azure AD. So for those automated purpose, uh, we use this Azure Service Principal. So let's get started. So we'll learn how to create the Service Principal using the Azure portal. So let me log on to my Azure portal. Uh, I have already logged on. So this is my Azure portal. Uh, I'm on the, let me go to dashboard. So first thing you will get the dashboard like this. So search for uh, on left panel, you can able to see all the services. So on type uh, global search, uh, search for the Azure AD. Azure Active Directory, it will, will uh, pop up your the service. Click on Azure Active Directory. So here on left panel, you will see the app registrations. So on left panel, see. The, so I uh, already have a service principal uh, which I will be using for the Terraform. So I'm just clicking on all applications. Or only I have a, a Terraform, which is a service principal created for the Terraform. So on top, you have to click on the new registration. So here, give the registration. So I will give the learn uh, hacker. So I'm using the default settings. Uh, I don't want to change anything. So just register now. So it will be creating the app registration for us. So here, if you see, uh, we are uh, already on the learn hacker registration. So you can create this uh, secret uh, on the left side left side plane where you can see the certificates and the secrets. So on a, on enterprise level uh, customers, they normally use the certificate and password for the security reasons. So if you have any certificate, you can import the certificate. So this is two types of authentication process we use for this service principal. So for now, uh, we are creating only with secret. So click on the new client secret. I'll uh, give the learning packer. So I want this uh, service principal uh, password only for three months. So you can make it uh, custom or you can make it up to whatever is required for you. So if you are using any application and integrate, uh, uh, putting this service principal and using the application, then based on your requirement, change it for one year or two years. So I'm adding the uh, secret. So it will display the uh, secret value and secret ID. So this is a one-time uh, display. Uh, once you copy this word, so this will display the all value. So once we go out of this uh, blade, uh, we won't be able to again find this secret. So make sure that this secret is saved uh, carefully, and just we go back to the directory. So next thing we have created the uh, service principal, and we have created the secret. Let's provide the access to this principal service principal. So now we have to go for this uh, subscription. So just click on the subscription here, uh, whichever the subscription you have created, you can use that one uh, for that particular subscription, you can provide the access. So on left side panel, you click on the access control, there uh, you will find the IM. So you can uh, check for the access if you want to check, uh, let me go up, I can check what access I have for my newly created service principal. So I can see there is no access uh, already created. So let me create a new role assignment. So here you can select the whichever role you want. We have default uh, roles which are available. So based on your requirement, you can choose anything. So for now, uh, for this tutorial, I'm using the contributor role. And I have to search again for my service principal name. So it will pop up. Click the learn packer and save it. So this has been provided the access. Uh, if I click again, so we have the contributor access. So you can use this service principal to log on to uh, Azure portal. So this is one way and 
let me uh, log on to uh, let me go to go back to the slides so we have done with the uh, azure portal so these are the different documentations which are available to create a service principle using the powershell cli so for thank you for viewing if you like my video and if you got uh, useful information my video don't forget to like and uh, share this video with your colleagues or the friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel so to get the, uh, these videos uh, whenever i upload these videos if you want to be notified immediately don't forget to click on the bell icon so for now uh, thank you for viewing uh, we'll uh, catch up again in next video thank you for viewing